Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install Android TV OS on your desktop or laptop alongside Windows 10 or 11 operating system. After completing the setup, you'll be able to switch between Windows and Android TV seamlessly. Let's get started and see how you can dual boot your system by installing Android TV on your computer. To install Android TV on your PC, you'll need the Android TV ISO image file. You can download this file from the Internet Archive website. I will provide the, this link in my video description. In Internet Archive website, scroll down and in download option, click on ISO image. You can download the latest version of Android TV 9. It will start downloading and file size is around one gigabyte. So it will take time to download. Next step is let's start creating a separate partition on the hard drive for installing Android TV. To do this, go to Windows Start menu, right click and open disk management on your system. If you have an SSD, select it for better performance. In C drive, we have free space around 130 gigabytes. So we will shrink this drive and allocate five gigabytes for our Android TV. Right click on the drive and choose the shrink volume option. Allocate at least 5 gigabytes of partition space for Android TV OS installation. Once the space is unallocated, right click on it and select new volume to create a new partition. You can see our new partition is created with 5.37 gigabyte space for Android TV OS. Next, let's rename the partition to Android TV to make it easier to identify during the installation process. Now let's create a bootable USB drive from the Android TV ISO file. We'll use the Rufus application. Go to Rufus website and download the latest Rufus release. Now run the Rufus application. Connect your USB drive to computer. Ensure the USB drive has at least eight gigabytes of storage. Open the Rufus tool and verify that your USB drive is selected. Next, choose the Android TV ISO file. Keep the remaining settings as default, then click the start button. Note that this process will erase all data on the USB drive, so make sure it's empty before proceeding. Once the process is complete, your bootable USB drive will be ready. The bootable USB drive is now prepared. Let's go ahead and restart the system. Press the boot key to access the boot menu option in your computer. Boot key may differ depending on your computer manufacturer. Once you're in the boot menu, select the USB drive and press enter. On this screen, choose the installation option for Android OS installation. On this screen, select the drive where you want to install Android TV. We'll choose the Android TV drive that we created earlier in our Windows partition tool. Next, format the drive with the ext4 file system. Grub will assist in setting up the dual boot. Select yes to install Grub. The installation of Android TV will now begin. Once the installation is complete, Android TV will be successfully installed on your system. Simply select run Android TV and press OK. You will see the Google logo appear as it loads. The first time setup screen will then open. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the basic setup. Sign in with your Google account to enjoy full access to Android TV apps and features. Your PC is now transformed into a fully functional Android TV. 
Enjoy all the features and apps just as if you were using an actual Android TV device. Download popular streaming apps like Netflix, Prime Video, Plex and others directly from the Play Store. You can easily control Android TV on your PC using a mouse and keyboard. However, if you prefer using a remote, you can use your smartphone as a remote. Just install this app from Play Store, remote control for Android TV in your phone and launch it. The app will automatically detect nearby Android TV devices as long as your phone and the Android TV are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Enter the pairing code to connect and you can now use your smartphone as a remote for your Android TV. To switch from Android TV back to your Windows operating system, simply restart Android TV. When the boot menu appears, select your Windows OS from the list. Your system will then boot into Windows. With the Android TV image installed on your PC, you can run Android TV even on an older laptop or desktop. This is because Android TV is a lightweight operating system that requires minimal resources to function smoothly. If you wish to remove Android TV from the dual boot setup, follow these steps. Open Disk Management and delete the Android TV partition. Next, remove the Grub bootloader from your system. Launch Command Prompt with Administrative Privileges. Execute the following commands. Select the disk containing your C drive. Identify and select the system partition. Delete the grub files located in the system partition within the C drive. To access the system partition, assign a drive letter to it. This process will fully remove Android TV and the grub bootloader from your system. The system partition cannot be accessed directly through the file manager, so we'll use task manager to delete the grub files. Open task manager and click on run new task. Select browse to navigate the file system. This method allows access to the system partition. Locate the EFI folder and delete the Android folder. Go back to the root directory Open the boot folder and delete the grub folder. This will completely remove Android TV from the dual boot setup and clean up the system partition. And that's it. You've successfully installed Android TV OS alongside Windows in a dual boot setup. Now you can switch between Windows for work and Android TV for streaming and entertainment anytime you want. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.